So today we're installing a brand new isolation valve and double check for this customer. The reason why we're doing this is the gate valve that they've got is broken. So even when you turn the gate valve off the whole way, water still passes through. And the reason why I know that, a couple of weeks ago, we had a main line leak over there. One of the control valves, the threads going into it had snapped. Um, the homeowner tried to turn the water off from the isolation valve from the gate valve. And this area over here just stayed saturated. It, it just wouldn't dry up. So I know that water is passing through. So what I ended up coming and doing was making that repair and to turn the water off, I managed to turn off one of these check valves, which you can see both these check valves on this double check have completely rusted off. So what we're gonna do today, as well as cutting out this isolation valve and putting in a brand new uh, Schedule 80 ball valve, we're also gonna go ahead and put in a brand new one inch double check. So this is what this video is gonna show. The reason why I'm making it as well, one of the reasons why these handles rust off is because the dirt falls back into the hole. What we're going to do is instead of just installing a uh, standard box over the double check, we're actually going to put one of these 12 inch extensions underneath the double check, which means that dirt is never going to fall in. So I'm going to go ahead and show you that with this install. So we just finished the install, the brand new isolation valve and double check, and I just wanted to show you how it looks. So we have this circle box, which has got our one inch Schedule 80 ball valve, and then we did a horseshoe, so we came up and then across, and you can see we've got this extender box that's upside down. We didn't bother putting the lid in. We have got a whole bag of pea gravel in here, and yet we still have decent coverage. I have at least three inches. I can actually put four fingers underneath this double check, and this is, I mean, this is way, way above code. We're good. This is never gonna cave in on itself. You're not gonna come back to this in a couple of months or a year and find that your double check is buried. And then in a couple of years time, having to turn around to the homeowner and saying, hey, you need a brand new double check. Hey, we just installed one a couple of years ago. Why aren't we already replacing it? With this, it makes it so much more serviceable, so much easier for you to install because you don't have to worry about dirt falling back in. And this part, this um, 12 inch extension box, it's only about $13, so it's really not much added to extra cost. I've seen people in other states, what they'll do is they'll stack it. So they'll put two standard boxes, and those standard boxes are pretty expensive. You could be running easily $30, $40 each. For a one inch residential double check, just grab yourself one of these 12 inch extension boxes, which are meant to actually go on top of them to extend them up. I've gone ahead and put it underneath, give me plenty of coverage underneath. It's gonna keep this nice and secure. This, you can see how tight this is around, so I don't need to worry about putting any tape around it to keep it in. This to me, this is a perfect install, so any BPAP that now comes to test this device, they're gonna have no problems, whether it's now or in 10 years time. 